The US Fed decided to launch the Unlimited Quantitative Easing Program. At the same time, Germany's government agreed a package worth up to 750 billion euros to mitigate the damage of the coronavirus outbreak. The news calmed down traders and encouraged them to switch to riskier assets. Thus, the euro and the pound sterling recouped some of their losses against the US dollar. A record drop of the Eurozone services uh, PMI did not lead to the euro weakening. The common currency is trying to erase its losses. The Eurozone services PMI slumped to 28.4 points from 52.6. It's the deepest and sharpest drop of the indicator in the history. The Eurozone Composite PMI also hit a record low, tumbling to 31.4 points from 51.6. Nevertheless, market participants decided not to sell off the euro because the US dollar is extremely overbought. Moreover, the Eurozone manufacturing PMI showed a smaller than anticipated drop. The Euro dollar pay is moving upwards after reaching the low of 1.0636. Thus, the pay rebounded by more than 250 pips during 37 hours. In fact, there is a still high market volatility. The average daily volatility exceeds 150 pips. It's quite possible that the current trend is a, a short-term phenomenon. The euro-dollar pair may resume the downward movement. If the quote consolidates below 1.0825, it can decline to 1.0775, 1.0700. The pound-dollar pair once again reached the support level at 1.1410, 1.1470. After that, it advanced to 1.1660. It's quite possible that the pair will be moving sideways in the range of 1.1450, 1.1660, and 1.1850. Besides, uh, the price can return to the level of 1.1660. The UK business activity is at the same level as in the European one. The EU and the UK have introduced tough measures to halt the coronavirus spread. Of course, the services sector is the first to suffer from the restrictions. However, economists had not expected such a slump. That's why market participants are focused on the year services PMI. However, the year's indicator will hardly show such poor figures. The fact is that Donald Trump introduced various restrictions only a week ago. Thus, the year services PMI data is expected to be much better than in Europe. If the predictions come true, the year's dollar will become more attractive compared to the euro and the pound sterling. The year's currency is expected to grow. However, if the year's business activity in various sectors stumbles, the euro and the British pound are likely to accelerate their recovery. That's all for now. We keep monitoring the financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and keep abreast of the latest news. See you soon.